There we go. Okay, well, tonight's Zoom um, is gonna be a little bit shorter, which I think is totally fine. Um, and I wanna thank you all for hopping on tonight. And um, I, this is a topic that I feel is very needed for our team. Um, it's something that I've recently really discovered and couldn't figure out how to really put into a post per se. Um, so I hope this resonates with some of you um, and that it really helps you feel more at peace with um, the rate at which your business is growing or helps you realize some things that make you be at peace at the rate your business is going. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot. Anyway, we'll get started. Um, so the title of tonight's Zoom is Finding Your Pace. So first we need to define what does that really mean? What is your pace? So I like Googled the actual definition of pace and it says a consistent and continuous speed, which is absolutely perfect for what I'm trying to explain. So um, we need to find a consistent and continuous speed that you can maintain in your business and we need to find what's right for you. So for some, this may be they want a fast start gold, which means like, is it 30? Yeah, 30 days they go gold, which cool. I think that's awesome. People that can do that. Um, I was not one of those people. Um, for some people, that means they might want to, sorry, my hair is falling down. Already, I'm sweaty from yoga. I'm not even going to apologize, but just so that you're aware, be glad you can't smell me. Um, but for some people, that's gold in six months or 12 months or for some that's hey I, I would just be so happy to go silver in six months like that's the rate that i want to go at and for some people they may have a slower pace in mind with where they're at in their lives and i'm gonna gonna, gonna kind of get to that so um let's talk about why finding your pace is important okay so finding it for yourself and discovering what is a good pace for you? Um, you need to determine what is healthy and maintainable for you in the season of life that you're in. So there's different ways to go about doing this and I'll discuss that. Um, but it's something that you really have to look inward for and possibly talk to your sponsor with. Um, this is something similar to what I'm doing with my um, like little opportunity for when you hop on all the Zooms this month, you get a one-on-one -on -one with me and that's really what it is. It's goal mapping and we're finding out what your pace is and figuring out how to make that achievable in like small bite-sized steps and breaking it down from really big picture to really small picture. Um, but anyway, so if you don't find your pace, then there's a few things that could happen. So number one, um, if you don't find your pace <laughs> and you don't find what's good and healthy and maintainable and um, consistent for you, then you'll kind of be like a little person meandering, kind of shuffling around, trying to cycle through all of the information, kind of like a lost hiker in the woods trying to get to the top of the mountain and you don't have a map and you're just kind of weaving and whatever and you're going to get tired eventually and you're going to get discouraged and you're going to give up because you're not where you wanted to be but the thing is is you never really actually determined where you wanted to be and by when so yeah it just doesn't really make sense um the other thing that can happen if you don't set your pace is the exact opposite is you catch the bug you're so excited and you have um big goals which is great. I have huge goals too. And you want to run towards them. Okay. You want to be the hare and the tortoise and the hare. And you want, you do everything. You spend all your extra time in your business. Um, and you may not even notice, but you let other things in your life fall to the wayside. There's no balance. Um, and you very quickly start to burn out because you're not spending your time wisely. Um, you're spinning your wheels. You're constantly feeling behind. If this is resonating with you, um, know that I felt it too. Um, you constantly feel behind, you're constantly stressed out, you're constantly thinking, 
oh crap, I have 20 messages in my inbox and I need to get to this and I have to go to the store and pick up more pens and paper and I have to talk to this person, I have to get this training done. And you have a thousand tabs open in your head all the time and that's gonna get old really quick, you guys. Um, you know, a lot of us are moms. Um, a lot of us might work outside the home as well. Um, you have a lot of other things in your life. And while business is very important and it should be a priority, and I'm assuming it is if you're on the Zoom, um, it's not everything. And if you don't have balance in your life and if you don't find a pace that is healthy and maintainable, I'm going to keep repeating that, healthy and maintainable, you will get burnt out and you will get discouraged. So finding a pace that you can keep doing um, for an extended period of time until the foreseeable future for where you're at in your life. So for some people, you might see them ranking up really quickly. They might, you might see someone fast start gold, which is, that would be super cool. Somebody on our team can fast start gold. Like I would just, even if they're just my sideline, I'd be so excited. Um, but that's where they're at in their life, you guys. They are in a good place emotionally and mentally. Um, they have the extra time that they can focus on that. That's where they're at in their life. And that's great. But if that's not you, that's also great. And that is also okay. What's important is that you're being consistent and that you are working your business at a rate that you're happy with and you're content with. Um, I struggle to even use the word content because you don't want to like be content and just be like, oh, I'm fine where I am. But where you are truly like, I'm okay with this. Whether, you know, you're going as fast as maybe you originally planned or whatever it is. Um, so it's also important to um, determine your pace for your team and not so much your team as a whole, but your team is individuals. So um, in some of the first trainings that you have with, with your people, one of the questions, there's three questions. If you ever read the training, which I hope that you have, and we have a new one, um, like an update. It's not really new, it's just an update to what we already have. Coming out this week, um, you'll know that the first three questions I ask somebody when they join my team is, um, and now my pregnancy brain has made me blank. Oh my gosh, I've done this training like literally hundreds of times. <laughs> <laughs> the first question is, okay, what is your big vision for your business? I want to know what their end game is. Like, I want to know, are they wanting to go diamond? Is that what they want? Are they just wanting to, is as far as they see their big picture paying their rent or their mortgage, is their big picture just helping out with bills, you know, paying off debt? I want to know what that is so that we can work towards that. Um, and then I want to know how many hours a week they're willing to invest in their business. Um, I skipped a question too, but like what their short term goals are. So I want to know what their big vision is and I want to know what they're wanting to achieve in the first like three to six months. That helps me kind of determine their pace in a sense. Hey, that worked out. I want to know, okay, if they want to be diamond, cool, but where do they want to be in three to six months? Because that's really going to determine um, how I coach them and how I help them determine and set their goals. So then I also ask them how many hours a week they're willing to invest in their business because that is going to help me determine if their three to six month goals are realistic. So if they're saying, well, I want to be senior goal in six months, but they can only work five or six hours a week, which is fine. That's just most likely not going to get you to senior goal in six months, okay? Um, a little bit more will, but if, if you are really um, diligent with your time. But I want to make sure that their goals are realistic. Um, I had someone recently tell me that they just wanted to be silver in six months they would be happy with. And then when I asked them how many hours a week they're willing to invest in their business, they're like, oh, well, I can probably do like 20 or 25 hours. I was like... Well, sweetheart, <laughs> um, I was like, you're going to do a lot more than silver in six months if you are truly investing that time wisely um, in your business with 20 to 25 hours. So it's really just making sure that their goals are realistic. So that all kind of ties in together. Um, but yeah, treating people as individuals is huge, um, especially when it comes to training and coaching. But you also have to remember this is a hard lesson for anyone who is even remotely similar to me 
if you join this business and or if where you're at right now is I have goals and I'm going to meet them. Think like your red personality is really coming out. You're like, I have goals. I'm going boom, 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 boom. You know what you're doing. You have full belief in yourself, in this company. Um, and then you get someone on your team who has a very different pace and a very different outlook and a very different mindset than you. Um, that may, that's hard for a lot of people to deal with. That was really hard for me to deal with. I, I just trained everybody the same because I assumed everybody was like wanting to do what I was wanting to do. Um, and that's the beauty of this business is you can make it whatever you want to make it. Um, but just remember that everybody's different. They're at a different place in their life um, or they might not even realize what they're capable of. So um, just be like, gracious towards that and go with what they're wanting to do while still encouraging them. Um, like if you're like, well, I think, you know, you can shoot for this. I do this. If you've ever worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, all my, my level ones and adopted level ones know this. I'll ask them, all right, so what are your goals? And if I think they can do more, truly, I'll tell them. Um, but if they clap back and say, no, I, I really can't and here's why and here's why this is a healthy pace for me, I'm like, okay, that's fine. But, um, you know, do it respectfully while also still encouraging them. Um, let them find their pace <laughs> and don't scare them away. And also make sure that you are giving them enough training. And this is going to help you determine where to invest your time most um, with people. And that is a whole different topic, but helping your team find their pace and you knowing what it is and knowing your own pace is gonna help you determine, okay, who do I need to have two to three one-on-one -on -one calls with a week and who is more needs just once a month? It's all based upon what the individual needs and that will really help you um, manage your time, uh, especially in regards to like when you're spending your team focused time. Okay, um, and my last point of the night is just to remember that your pace can change and that's okay. Um, Things happen in life, unexpected things that um, may happen, and you, you might get sick. Um, you might have had goals for November, and you were sick two weeks out of November, um, and you have to reassess and change those, change the dates on those goals, and that's okay. I want you to give yourself some grace there. You might um, <laughs> get pregnant and be sick and deathly ill for three months, which was me, and realize that that's gonna change the timeline a little bit because um, you're not able to do the things that you wanted to do, and that's also okay. Um, it just means you have to change things around a little bit. Um, things happen, um, deaths, new lives, um, whatever, um, and that's okay. So I want you to give yourself some grace and realize that your pace can change but always know what it is so that you are not discouraged by one way or another in those examples I gave earlier. Um, so like I said, it's gonna be a shorter one. I hope that this helped. I hope something resonated with you. Um, if you have any questions um, in regards to specific ways in finding your pace, send me a message after this. Let me know, um, I'll do my best to help you out. And I hope to see you on the rest of the three Zooms this month. And hopefully we'll get to do a one-on-one -on -one, um, like goal mapping coaching session. And um, next week is the hugest one. Uh, we are updating our training, like new ambassador onboarding material. And um, like, oh, I'm so excited. You don't want to miss it um, is all I have to say. So I will see you, um, I believe it's next Tuesday. Um, and otherwise, I'll talk to you then or you can message me. Okay. Thanks for hopping on, guys. Talk soon. Bye.